Hello my loves, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be here. First of all, because I know I've been posting consistently, but I actually haven't filmed in a couple of weeks. After we did the gender reveal, I told Adam, let's leave the room all decorated as long as we can before the balloons lose their helium and all that stuff because I wanted to film in here. It's just fun for me, so I'm so happy. I brought all the stuff out of my bathroom. I have a gift I was sent and I have another over here prop that I'll grab in a second because it's too big. But I wanna talk to you guys about my skincare while I'm pregnant, how it's changed, how I'm helping the hormonal acne, which I got even though I'm having a boy. Joke's on me. I had all the girl symptoms, all the bad, really bad symptoms that usually go along with having a girl I got. So the acne did come with a vengeance. If you're interested in my skincare routine, especially while I'm hormonal and pregnant, please keep watching. Okay, before we get started, two things. First of all, I had a cute little fancy outfit that I was gonna put on and then I'm like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> After I showered and diffused my hair and did my makeup, I was like, I'm just gonna leave on my vintage Help Free Adam shirt. I love this shirt, but also my dear, dear bestie, Kat, who designs all of our merch, is working on a free baby Clausen merch line. Like, I die. That is the cutest thing ever. Second of all, I was sent the most fun package from Brink Farm Soaps. Brink, <laughs> she can't ever speak. I was sent the most fun package from a company called Brink Farm Soaps. They are all handmade. It is amazing and better than all of this was the sweet note that came along with it. So I'll read some of it to you guys. And then I'm gonna show you the soaps really quick give you the website, and then we're gonna go on with the skincare video, but I just couldn't make this video without shouting this out. Rowan Adam, just wanted to say how much I love your channel. I've been following you for quite a while and cannot express how happy I am for you both. I still remember exactly where I was when I, and what I was doing when I saw your Adam's Out post on YouTube. It was for sure something great that happened in 2020. Once I got my business going, I knew I wanted to send you some samples. Check out our website if you would like any more, brinkfarmsoaps.com. Best wishes to you both and a big congratulations on your pregnancy. Love, Julia Brink. Girl, thank you. And when I went through this package, I'm not gonna lie, I opened it like a week ago. I knew I was gonna do a video about it because I just wanted to thank her, but I had to smell the soaps because pregnancy sense of smell, they're all literally incredible and amazing. So this one is the Men's Shower Shave Bar. Mm, it smells so good and clean. I'm really picky with scents and this one, I just love a clean scent. This one smells so clean. This one's called Berry Blast. Oh, not overpoweringly berry, just enough berry. Oh, I love that these are all, all the ingredients are right there. I can name them all. They are all clean. I can use this on my body and I won't feel guilty putting any kind of chemicals on my skin while I have a baby growing in my belly. This is perfectly on time. This one is oatmeal and honey. Mm. I love this, I love oatmeal scented things. Mm, so good. This last one was honestly my favorite. I'll tell you why. It's woods and whiskey. I am always on the hunt for, oh, it smells so good, for soaps and candles. And I always come across the ones that are like bourbon and sandalwood and bourbon and this. And I always want to like them, like whiskey and this. And I, this is the one and only time that I've ever smelled anything that's woods and whiskey, either woods or whiskey scented, like there's fireside, that I like. This is subtle. It's not like I walked into a bar and I'm smelling last night's alcohol spilled all over the floor. That's what those candles sometimes smell like. And I'm like, who wants their house to smell like this? Not me. This is incredible. I love this. And this was my favorite, favorite part of this, which is silly, but I literally scrubbed the bathroom the morning that I got this package. Adam had opened up a bar of soap and he left it on the counter. Normally, I'll put a washcloth under it because I ugh, soap scum all over the counter, but he doesn't like that because of germs. I get it, and we didn't have a soap dish yet, and I had it on my list of stuff to get, but how cute and like farmhousey is that to hold the soap? So this was perfect timing. If you guys wanna check them out, this is not sponsored in any way. This sweet soul just sent this to me. What a doll, it's Brink Farm Soaps. 
They're on Facebook, they're on Etsy, they're on Instagram, Brink Farm Soaps. I'm saying it weird, so I'm just gonna put it there and let them know you're from my channel because that would be fun. Okay, let's talk about my skincare. I'm gonna talk about my facial skincare and I'm going to talk about what I've been doing to try to avoid stretch marks. The other day I was changing and I don't have a full length mirror in my bedroom, something I still need to buy. However, the closets in the other two rooms in the house, the baby's nursery, this guest room, what will be the baby's nursery, and our office, the doors are actually mirrored. So I'll use that as my full length mirror when I'm getting dressed, make sure something looks good, the shoes match, you guys know how it goes if you're a girly girl. So I came in here to check out my outfit and as I was changing, I caught a glimpse of my rear view in the mirror. And I thought, oh my gosh, I must have jump roped and whipped myself a few times with the rope because I had red lines across the back of one of my thighs and that butt cheek. And I was like, could those be stretch marks? No, and I put it out of my head and I put my pants back on. I'm like, well, maybe my pants are too tight and it's kind of from the seams. I'm just not even gonna worry about it. I'm gonna ignore it and go on with my day. Well, the next day, I went to the gym. I was changing in the locker room. I was the only one there by myself. And I thought, you know, let me check out the back of my thigh again. Let me see if those red lines are still there. And I took out my camera of my phone and I took a close up because that's what every girl needs to do that's insecure is take a close up of her rear end. And lo and behold, I look and there's stretch marks across my thigh and my butt. And I texted my sisters in like freak out mode. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not even close to halfway there. I already have all of these stretch marks. And my sister sent back the sweetest comment. She's never been pregnant, but she's gained and lost a lot of weight throughout her life. And she's like, I have these stretch marks and they're my biggest insecurity. And everybody I know who deals with somebody who's pregnant tells them like, oh, they're your battle scars and they're all worth it because of the baby in the end. And she's like, yeah, I mean, who wants to hear that in the moment? And she was just so supportive in the way where she wasn't using cliches. She was like, I feel you. I hear you. It sucks. I am sorry. There's creams you can use. It will get better afterwards. I promise you. But I know in the moment you're freaking out, which was the best thing ever to hear because sometimes you just need somebody to be like, it sucks and I'm with you. Not like, but you're going to have a baby at the end of this and embrace your battle wounds, which is true. Not what I needed in the moment. So the next day, this shows up on my doorstep from my other sister who was on the chat thread, my older sister. Apparently, I sent this to her when she was pregnant with her oldest, and I have no recollection of that. I mean, he's gonna be 14 years old. I have no idea what I ate for dinner last night, let alone what I did 15 years ago. Let me rewind for a second. Since the day I got pregnant, I've been using stretch mark cream all over my stomach, on my sides, on my hips because I already have silver stretch marks there from gaining a lot of weight during puberty. And I also have them here on my breasts. I've been kind of cautious about using stretch mark cream there just because I get really weird about putting stuff on there. I only use stuff that's paraben free, but since my mom's cancer, my mom and both of my grandmothers all had breast cancer, so I'm extremely high risk. So I kind of would rather have stretch marks on my boobs than breast cancer. I'm not saying that that's gonna cause it, but for me personally, I'm in my head about it, and I try not to put too many creams or any lotions or anything really related to that on my breasts themselves, especially when I'm so estrogenic. My hormones are crazy during pregnancy. So I did not realize or think about that I should be also using it on, like my sister said, my lower back, my butt, under my butt, my thighs above my knees and also my calves because that's where I gain my fat. I don't know what I was thinking, but I wasn't. And now I changed that. So this is the Body Shop Body Butter. It smells incredible. It's so soft and buttery. I don't know if you guys could see this. It's literally butter. It is so creamy. It smells so good. I do not know that it's paraben free. I don't think it is. So I don't use it too often. I'll use it every once in a while. I'll use it if Adam and I are going out and I want to smell extra good because it's shea butter and it smells amazing. I don't see anything about it being paraben or what's that word? Not paraffin, but philanthanates, whatever that word is free. But it's also made in Germany and I know that they use way, way, way less chemicals in Europe than they do in the United States, but one that I save for special occasions. The one that I've been swearing by is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. This is their tummy butter for stretch marks with collagen, elastin, argan oil, and shea butter. Helps reduce the appearance of stretch marks and it's their intense treatment. Look how much I've used already and I'm 16 weeks pregnant. 
so much that I actually have an unopened backup because I will not go without this stuff one day. I've been slathering it on my belly twice a day, once in the morning before I go running. This way when I sweat and I'm hot, my pores will open up and really absorb it because I'm in Vegas and it's so, so dry here and I'm in my 40s, I'm trying really hard to keep my skin as drenched and moisturized as possible. This has been a lifesaver. I again put this all over my belly, top to bottom, sides where I think that the skin will stretch, hips, thighs, you name it. On top of that, I will put this is so funny. I want to use this box for baby stuff when he comes. So I wrapped, this is kind of oily. I wrapped it in a washcloth so I didn't get oil stains inside that box. But this is the Palmer's Skin Therapy Oil. Let me rewind. This was around like $5.99 or something, something like that. Definitely less than $10. I'll link everything that I'm talking about in the description box below. I am not sponsored by anybody. I'm just really, really into this. Oh, and by the way, it doesn't have mineral oil, parabens, and phlanthanates, so that's huge. On top of that, I will put on the seriously scarred or stretch mark spots. I'll put it on my belly, not too much, and then I'll put it on the silver stretch marks that I have on my hips already, because obviously that skin's already scarred. Obviously that skin is sensitive it's prone to stretch marks i do that i put this on there this was less than ten dollars nine something it is skin therapy oil it helps improve the appearance of scars stretch marks dry damaged skin uneven skin tone aging skin with pure argan oil this is also free of all of that junk that we were talking about before here is a trick even for my non-pregnant girls I will put this all over my body where I want it and then I take some more, I'll do a little extra pump and I put it on the back of my hands because first of all, we are in a time where we are washing our hands so much more frequently. I am peeing so much more frequently, meaning I'm washing my hands more frequently anyway. And then also the back of my hands have been aging very quickly. I was a dodo going in tanning beds my whole young life. <laughs> Look at my early 2000s video, that was hysterical. But I talked about tanning and how we were brown at that point and I was in there every single day. So I have a lot of aging on the back of my hands. I wish I had a before and after picture, but the appearance of the skin of the back of my hands is like night and day. It looks so much better. I told my sisters about it. I'm like, I noticed within less than a week how much better that's making my skin feel. For $10 and you're only using a tiny little pump on the back of your hands, I know it's silly, why not though? So worth it. Is that it? One more. After I found the stretch marks on the back of my legs, I figured I needed to also start including my knees and my calves. I don't wanna put those oils all over there just because of pants issues, I don't wanna stain my clothes. I don't have them there yet, but I do wanna keep my skin moisturized. So I went and I got this and I added it to my Palmer's regimen. This is the massage lotion with vitamin E for stretch marks, collagen, elastin, argan oil, shea butter helps reduce the appearance of stretch marks. This is also free of mineral oil, parabens, and philanthanates. Phil philanthates, how do you say that? Somebody tell me in the comments below. I put this all over my lower body. Some days if I just don't feel like it and I don't wanna use the body butter for some reason, I don't wanna get oily. I'm wearing tighter clothes and I'm just nervous about getting oil on them, which by the way, I've not gotten oil on anything. Nothing has stained. So far, sometimes I will get out of the shower, I'll put it all over and if I have time where I'm doing my makeup and I'm letting my hair dry, I'll just put on an old tank top, let that absorb the oil just in case and then I'll get dressed afterwards. But I really even this, I've been using this tank top a lot. It's got no oil stains on it. So I think this stuff absorbs really, really well. Some days I don't feel like doing all of that. I'm just in a rush. I don't want to worry about the tank top. I don't want to worry about staining my clothes. I'm wearing something really nice. I'm wearing like a silkier fabric, something like that. I will use this on my belly instead. Love this stuff. And it all smells like cocoa butter. It's delicious. My sister told me that these three and one more come in some sort of a package that she was gonna send to me actually. And she's like, I didn't know, I know how you are with only natural stuff. I didn't know if it had any of that stuff in there or not. So I didn't send it to you. And I was like, don't worry, I already have it all. It does not have all that junk in there. And if I do find that package, cause it is a few dollars cheaper than if you buy that all separately, then I will put it in the box below. I get it from Amazon. You can get it honestly, Walmart, Target, any of those places, carry this stuff. And it's really not that expensive. Let's move on to my face. For years, I had my skin so under control. It was beautiful, never had a blemish, didn't really have any sunspots, never broke out 
ever, especially when I went vegan, my skin was so clear and beautiful. I drank so much water, I sweat every day, I just did everything that was great for my skin, ate a lot of fruits and vegetables, you name it. Well, that all went out the window when I moved from the humidity of New Jersey that my skin was used to for years to Las Vegas. At the same time, so my skin's freaking out, totally dry, I went from 90 degrees in humidity to 103 degrees bone dry, and it literally, from the day I got here, rained once in five months, once. And that rain was not rain, it decided to be snow. Who knew it snowed in the desert? I didn't. My skin went not so. Also sleeping next to a man, going from sleeping alone for so many years and then sleeping next to somebody and my face touching his skin, his oils, my oils. My skin freaked for a little bit. It just was not good. Masks were going on at the same time. I had a little dairy here and there. My skin really started to freak. I was always able to control it with retinol. I've been a fan of retinol for years. I will tell you guys all about retinol another day. However, when I got pregnant, I looked it up and retinol is one of the first things I tell you to get rid of because too much vitamin A, which is retinol is vitamin A, can actually stunt the development of your baby and can cause developmental issues. It is not 100% proven. That's what doctors say can happen. However, why take that risk? It's just my skin, it's just a pimple. I'd rather have zits than a baby that's not developed properly. So I stopped the retinol, but I'm telling you before that, if I had any type of little pimple, anything popping up, I just dot it on there and it would be gone in the morning. That's it, that simple. I don't have that luxury anymore. But I will, you guys, I'll link the retinols that I've used below, the ones that have worked for me. I've tried them all. I've tried retinol and creams, not so good. I have a higher end one that when I started using it many years ago, I think was like around 60. And now it's up to like $90 for a little tube that will last me forever because you only need a little tiny amount, but I stopped getting it and I started getting a much cheaper version that actually worked just as well. So I'll put those in the description box below, depending on your desires and your bank account and all of that stuff. I can do a whole video on how I use retinol, how you kind of ramp it up, what you use on the days in between, what dermatologists recommend. I had like half my coworkers on that regimen. Everybody would come back to me and be like, oh my God, how did you know this? Love, love, love the way their skin looked. In between, I had to do what I could do within the confines of being pregnant. For me, that means I want to use everything that's natural and no retinols. Originally, I was just using olive oil. <laughs> I only ever have used olive oil to cleanse my skin, to take off my makeup, the oil cleansing method. And then it wasn't doing all of that for me. My skin was breaking out. It was kind of lackluster, all of that. So what I did was I grabbed some witch hazel when my breaking out was at the worst from my hormones and these exfoliating cotton balls. And I will just pour some of the witch hazel. I got this all at Walmart. I will pour some of the witch hazel on the cotton ball and I'll just scrub my skin to kind of exfoliate it with that exfoliating pad. These were like less than a dollar. This was a couple dollars. I use that kind of as a toner. I use that to get the extra makeup off that the olive oil didn't get or if I'm not wearing makeup and I'm just trying to get all of the gunk from the day off of my skin that works really really well. Sometimes I'll flip it over from the exfoliating side and the other side of that round is smooth and then I'll just kind of wipe the rest off and you feel so good and you could actually see the dirt that it took off of your skin. And for me, that's so satisfying because I know it's cleaning my skin and my pores. Really, that's enough if your skin's wet to use as a toner. But on top of that, I will spray rose water. This is just so healing and there's so many good benefits of rose water and I just love how moisturizing and hydrating it is. I got this bottle at TJ Maxx. You can get it on Amazon. That's where I usually get it. This was just a score. I got it for like a dollar less, but I think it's like $11. It's not very expensive because you're only using a couple of spritz. This will last me a good six months. This is so worth it. That's the brand that I like. I'll spritz that on my skin, just like that. And then I will either add one of these two. I will add this vitamin C serum underneath my makeup. If I'm doing makeup, that's all I do because then I put foundation on and if I put any kind of other moisturizer on top of that, it adds to the breakouts. So I'll just do a squirt of that and I'm done. Then I do my makeup. However, at night, I use this Avalon Organics. It is the same brand. It's just a thicker vitamin C oil-free moisturizer. Intensive Defense, it's called. But what I did with this bottle was I added a couple of drops of vitamin E oil right into there. I mix it around because usually I was using a vitamin E 
moisturizer on top of that vitamin C to get both of those on my skin. Vitamin E helps with moisture, it helps with wrinkles. Vitamin C helps with evening out your skin tone, discoloration, if you have brown spots, if you have red spots, vitamin C is really good for that. They didn't have the vitamin E moisturizer without all the chemicals in there when I went to the store last time to get it. So I just got the oil, put a couple drops in there and then mixed it around and it's its own vitamin E and C serum moisturizer together. Sometimes what I will do is I will take at night, this is really, really thick and hard to get out the bottle, but I'll get like a drop or two and I'll put it around my eyes, these wrinkles, around my mouth, sometimes on my forehead because for many years I was getting Botox that is not good, is so toxic for the baby. So I stopped getting Botox and I stopped getting fillers. I'm gonna do a whole video about Botox and fillers while you're pregnant. So much to say about that, but while I am not getting them because it's my choice to not do it, I am using this where you develop the wrinkles, crow's feet, head, and firmly smile lines. In between, about <laughs> once a week or so, I've done it once. <laughs> not really once a week, but I used to do this once a week and it's incredible. This is Aztec clay. It's an Indian clay. It is all natural. It's bentonite clay. It pulls toxins and impurities out of your skin. It is a clay powder. Can you see that? I don't want to spill that on the floor. This is like $8 on Amazon, Walmart, Ulta. You can get this anywhere now. You can either mix it with apple cider vinegar or water, depending on how you like it on your skin. The vinegar is going to burn and it's going to kind of give you a tingly feeling and it's going to leave you a little bit red afterwards. But both of those together help pull the toxins out of your skin. Every time I use this, my skin looks flawless when I'm done. So it's just a face mask. You mix the mask with equal parts mask. So it's one teaspoon of mask, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar or water, depending on what you want to do. That's all I ever need. You put it on your skin, you like mix it. The trick is you do not use metal. I always use a plastic spoon and a ceramic bowl. Something with metal mixing with this clay will, I don't know what it does, let's see. It doesn't say why, but I think it's something mixes with like the elements in there. I don't know, chemistry, whatever it is, but it makes this not work for you or not work right. It, uh, I don't know. Who knows, don't use metal. You mix it together, you put it on your face like any other face mask, you leave it on for 15 or 20 minutes, it's gonna dry, it's gonna pull, and then you wash it off and you will thank me later. It will leave your skin red, it's gonna leave it kind of pulsating a little bit, maybe tingling, it's fine, it goes away in 10 or 15 minutes. Then you're gonna comment below this video and thank me. Sis, I got you. You're welcome. I don't know why you didn't know about this sooner, but I'm glad to help you. It is the best. Last, and honestly, most important, I started sleeping with a humidifier and it has made a world of a difference in my skin, in my lungs, in my breathing, everything. Adam notices a difference in his skin. Now, I used to use one all the time when I was in New Jersey, especially in the winter. When you're stuck inside, you have the heat on, it gets dry, there's static. It actually increases your chances of getting the flu and viruses if you are in too dry of an environment. Your chances of catching flus and viruses are decreased by 90% if you use a humidifier. Mic drop, the end, done, I was sold. When Adam told me that many years ago, and I was like, yeah, right. And I looked it up and he was actually absolutely right. He used to make DIY humidifiers while he was inside. I made a video, I showed you guys how he did it because I thought it was so cool. It's actually like, I don't know why that video has been watched by so many people. It's still to this day one of my most watched videos. Anyway, when I moved to Las Vegas and it's so dry, we got one immediately when we moved here, but especially since I've been pregnant, I have to use it to keep my skin glowing and also my lungs get really dry. Baby is just affecting my breathing and my asthma. We turned it down one night. We thought maybe it was too high and I woke up the next morning with the worst asthma attack and a dryness in my chest. We'll never not do that again. I sleep with it all the way up. We have one that we bought when we first moved here by Everlasting Comfort and it's in the bedroom. I reached out to the company and they sent me another one. This is a smaller, a little bit of a smaller version. So it fits right in our living room. We use it all day, every day. They gave me a 20 
percent discount for you guys if you want one too. I will put all of the information below. It is Everlasting Comfort with the 20% discount link for you guys. I'm telling you, it has saved my skin from the minute they sent this to me and I started using it. That's when my hormonal acne cleared up. That's when my asthma started to get better when I put this in the living room. So I'm using it during the day and then the one in the bedroom all night long. It is a game changer, you guys. I thank me later, I promise. Go get you on. Plug it in, sleep with it for a week, come back to me and tell me what your skin looks like. Girl, I got you. Okay, I think that's it. I have babbled for so long. There was so much to talk about on this video. I missed making videos for you guys. It has just been a tired, exhausting week, but like then I get on camera and I'm like Burr, and I come to life and I'm like, why didn't I do this more often? So I will be back. ASAP. If you're interested in another video with me, click that video right there. If you don't see that pop up on the screen, some devices it doesn't, just go scroll through my channel and watch one that you like. If you're not already subscribed, do so by clicking that circle there. If you don't see that, the red box below. I love you guys so very much and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.